How SOLIDWORKS can help you in school. Are you trying to create complex models with curves or lines crossing over multiple planes, such as in a chassis? 3D sketches allow for the creation of these lines and curves. To start a new 3D sketch, click the drop down under Sketch and select 3D Sketch. When a 3D sketch is the first thing in your model, it is helpful to build a box out of sketch lines to give you reference points. If there are other features already in place, a box is not normally needed as there are other reference points. Once the box is created, the 3D sketch can be closed by clicking the icon in the upper right of the window, or 3D sketch can be clicked under the sketch drop-down. With the reference box created, a new 3D sketch can be created for the model. For the example of this stick figure, the vertical spine was created first. When working with 3D sketches, there are more relations that need to be added in order to fully define the sketch. The typical ones that are used are along X, along Y, or along Z, as well as on plane. Toggling between the default planes using the tab key will also help with orienting sketch entities in the proper direction. When dimensioning a 3D sketch, the dimensions can either be absolute along X, Y, or Z, and can be changed before the dimension is placed by pressing the tab key. When using splines such as the arms of this stick figure, it is best to have references wherever the spline points will be. When moving spline handles, it is best to rotate your view to make sure that the spline is bending in the desired direction. Another tip to keep in mind when working with 3D sketches is to add relations and dimensions as you go in order to avoid the dreaded sketch deforming caused by defining your sketch after all entities have been created. This stick figure was finished off by using a number of sweep features to give it some depth. I hope these 3D sketching basics will help you out in your models.